Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be working on my 2014 RAV4 um, behind me. Um, I gotta change the rear differential fluid, transfer case fluid, so things we need for this application. Um, you technically need um, a set of crush washers. I'll put the part numbers for these. These are OE. Um, and I do have 75 to 85 um, gear oil. I do have two. It's supposed to be taking only one quart. Um, both for the rear diff and the front transfer case. Um, it's good to have a little bit more extra. This is the drain plug. Uh, both drain plugs for the this application is the same. Um, these are 10 millimeter hex, rear diff, and uh, transfer case. Drain plugs. Um, this is the rear diff fill plug, and that is the transfer case fill plug. These two, all these three parts are uh, 10 millimeter hex. This is a redesigned part. Um, it's got a different head. The plug which I'm taking it out from the car, as you can see next, will be a hex. Um, pretty bad uh, chewed up threads and stuff. So let me show you real quick. Um, I put it up on blocks. So we're looking at from the underneath, the drain plug is on the driver's side and the fill plug is right here on the passenger side right there I've loosened it up already but as you can see it's pretty bad uh, that's the fill plug I've loosened that one up too um, there. all right so before you loosen up the drain plug rule of thumb always always loosen the fill plug first for some reason if you can get the fill plug out um, you don't want the fluid to be drain, draining out, so make sure you loosen the fill plug first and then attempt to loosen the drain plug. Uh, front transfer case <coughs> front diff transfer case everything um is right in the center right there that's the drain plug and as you can see that's the fill plug both of those are 10 millimeter hex
and a uh, crush washer as well. Pump it until it's you get a stream out of there, and then put your fill plug. So there we go. You got the what new drain and fill plugs, and uh, job done. <laughs>